गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट टर्मिनेशन ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन इन प्रोकैरियट्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो बेसिकली ट्रांसलेशन कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ थ्री फेजेस इनिशिएशन इलोंगेशन एंड टर्मिनेशन इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट initiation and elongation if you missed those lectures i would highly recommend you to go through them in order to understand today's lecture in a better way and today we will talk about the termination part so this is the mrna red one the mrna contains three kinds of termination codons uag uaa and uga they are also called stop codons now once ribosome moves to the entire mrna and reaches one of these three stop codons it is time to stop translation we already know that ribosome has three pockets e p and a so the stop codon fits in this a site p site contains the trna along with the polypeptide chain and the e site contains an uncharged trna now cells do not possess any amino acid trnas which are complementary to stop codons instead one of the two release factors binds so two release factors are there rf1 and rf2 so rf1 recognizes uaa and uag codons rf2 recognizes uaa and uga codons so one of them will bind here based on the stop codon and a third release factor rf3 will also come here to assist rf1 and rf2 so here rf3 will come and rf1 or rf2 will come okay these release factors will bind here next step the release factors basically cleave the bond between the polypeptide and trna in the p site and release factors are now released so this is rf3 this is rf1 or rf2 and this is the polypeptide which is now free these three are released after the release of the polypeptide chain and release factors the ribosome is still bound to the mrna and is left with two uncoupled trnas in the p site and in the e site to participate in a new round of polypeptide synthesis the trnas and the mrna must be removed from the ribosome and ribosome must dissociate into its large and small subunits so collectively these events are referred to as ribosome recycling so ribosome recycling means the two ribosomal subunits should be separated two uncharged trnas should be released and the mrna should be released now ribosome recycling factor rrf and efg these two will bind here and they stimulate the release of two uncharged trnas so the trnas from p and e sites will be removed now once these two are removed this rrf and efg are also removed the last one is if3 so if3 will bind here it releases mrna and separates two ribosomal subunits so all are now separated and all are 
ready to initiate next round. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.